Hello brides and dads out there. Are you planning on dancing at the wedding but have no clue where to start? So many wedding dance tutorials out there on YouTube focus on the romantic traditional dance of bride and groom. But those just aren't a good fit for the father-daughter dance. But dads and daughters out there, don't worry. Over our 15 years of experience teaching total beginner dancers how to have fun on the dance floor, including a ton of father-daughter dances, we are confident that with the right game plan, you guys can have a fun, memorable, simple dance that you'll enjoy dancing together without looking awkward on the dance floor. In this video, we're gonna give you four rules that you've gotta know so that you can have a wonderful, memorable dance together and have everyone talking about how great it was. So let's get ourselves started. So rule number one is choose an appropriate song. There's lots of slow romantic music out there and we can get caught up in that for the whole wedding preparations, but maybe listen to the lyrics first and yeah. see if they're quite appropriate for a father-daughter dance. Yeah. We're gonna give you three song suggestions that we've had from students that we've worked with in the past. The first song in our suggestion list is My Girl by The Temptations. It's a fun, nostalgic, a classic song. It's a little bit upbeat and it's fun and it keeps it really lively. When it's cold outside the second song that is also really popular is What a Wonderful World by Louis Armstrong. Everyone knows the song, it's really familiar, and it's a great song about gratitude of the moment that we're spending together and about life in general. And our third suggestion is My Little Girl by Tim McGraw. It's a wonderful country song about the moment of a father giving away his daughter at her wedding. It's, it's, very it's, emotional. It is. Somebody <laughs> is uh, tears oh up when she thinks about it. <laughs> yeah, we have two daughters as well. So when we're going through these tips and thinking about these songs, someone was getting a little bit of emotional. Uh, reading the lyrics was really difficult for me. <laughs> <laughs> if you'd like more suggestions on great father-daughter dance songs, check out our top 10 list. Overall, when you are trying to select your song, make sure that if there is one song that is very meaningful to you guys, that you choose that song and you dance to it. That reminds me of a couple that we had. <laughs> that when they were young, uh, well, when she was young, she uh, watched a movie with her dad all the time and he said, in the future, when you get married, we're gonna dance to that song. <laughs> and they did, and they had a fun, wonderful time. And it wasn't a traditional sappy or loving song. Um, it was a little bit cheeky and, and a little bit fun. Yeah, there was a lot of hip shaking. <laughs> and it was really cute. <laughs> Once you've chosen your song, just make sure that you keep it nice and short. We recommend about one and a half to two minutes maximum. Rule number two is keep it simple. That's right. No need for big theatrics, no need for big memorization of big routines. Yeah. Um, just Unless you guys are natural dancers and you really <laughs> like to do that kind of stuff. Definitely, then bust out the moves <laughs> and go for it. Yeah, I mean, we have had a couple that, um, she was a really, really a dancer, and the groom was like, no, I'm not doing that kind of stuff. And the father was like, yeah, sign me up. <laughs> <laughs> so they did a choreographed routine, but it's not for everyone. Definitely, so what we'd like to do now is just show you something that might be really simple and easy that you guys can do and pull off and, um, and have fun and feel confident doing as well, all right? So whether it's uh, bride and groom dances or um, father-daughter dances, we always suggest you guys have a home-based pattern. Here, Clara and I are just doing a nice, simple basic that's going side to side with a little tap, yeah? And then to make it a little bit more interesting, we can have the bride, the daughter, do an underarm turn, nice and simple, nice and slow. And then we can go back into our Nice, simple home base pattern again. Before, maybe we decide to do a, a different one. Yeah, we can do a different under yeah, so depending on what figures that you know, what you've learned in the past, then you can pull out those figures once in a while in and out of the home base. Before we go into tip number three and four of this video, we wanna hear from you guys. We're curious to know what songs you are planning to dance to with your father or daughter. Write it down in the comments below so that you can give us and all those YouTube viewers some suggestions. And speaking of our viewers, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell down below if you're enjoying this video and want to know whenever Joel and Clara post more wedding-related dance videos. Rule number three is talk. To keep it natural and not so robotic and awkward and thinking, mm -hmm. talking is the best solution. As you can see when we were demonstrating in Rule number two, we were talking, well, talking to you guys, but we were talking nevertheless, and it made things a little bit more natural. 
Just imagine us doing the same thing, going through that, but not talking and being really straight with our faces. It just <laughs> isn't really appropriate, especially for a father-daughter dance. Yeah, it also gets really awkward. Like you're kind of staring at each other for the whole time. <laughs> exactly. But actually, having a conversation relaxes you and keeps you in the moment. Exactly, and it also relaxes everybody or else around you guys watching. And then you'll have that secret conversation that you've had on the dance floor. Nobody else can hear what you're saying, and they're always wondering. I wonder what they talked about, and that could be your little secret. <laughs> Too. Rule number four is make sure you lead the bride. It all starts actually at the end of the bride and groom first dance. So, say for instance, Claire and I just finished our first dance, and ah, wonderful! <laughs> It is my responsibility, grooms, to lead my lovely bride to her father. Yeah. Yeah. Whether, Don't just leave her standing there. Yeah. And then have the father come onto the floor and meet her. <laughs> Or she goes and walks herself, and you just walk off. <laughs> Yeah. So be a gentleman. Lead the bride over to her father. Once you get to her father, then shake the father's hand. Yeah, it's like a contract. Hello, father-in-law. Here is your daughter. I would love for you to dance with her as well. I just had a wonderful dance. And then, do 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 do. Father, now Joel is the father. <laughs> Transform. <laughs> Then, father, you take your daughter and bring her back onto the dance floor. Yeah. Now, as that is happening, as we do that exchange of the bride,、um, the DJ can start the music. Yeah. yeah. So it's not、um, too awkward, but there's some music.、Playing. Yes. We always suggest entering the floor during the music, so that you're not awkwardly standing there waiting for the music.、Mm -hmm. Most songs have a little introduction before the song really gets started, so that's the perfect opportunity for the bride and the father to be walking onto the floor. And once the dance is finished, dads, you take your daughter to wherever she needs to go next. Yeah. Whether You might be dancing with somebody else, and she might be dancing with someone else, and get a snowball dance going or whatnot. You again lead the bride to wherever she needs to go. As you can see, with the right approach, you can have a wonderfully natural dance together. So, if you're looking to transform yourself from total beginners to confident dancers on the floor, we urge you to watch our beginner dance masterclass. Although the masterclass is made for couples dancing their bride and groom dance together, the basic dance principles and skills are the same whether you're dancing with your daughter or even your wife. The link to join the masterclass is in the description below. So check it out because there's lots of free resources down there, also for the bride and groom. Thanks again very much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell down below again so that you guys are in the loop whenever we post new tip videos for you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.